Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and welcome to Ellis Home and Garden. I told you guys wrong last week. I thought I was going to go to market today, but I'm not leaving till tomorrow. So I'm here today to create a really cute summer truck, uh, something that I love to do because they're so easy, and you can really just transform them for any season uh, that you're working on. So as you guys join us, y'all come in, leave a comment down below. Let us know uh, that you're here, where you're watching from. And as always, guys, any questions you have throughout a video, um, that we do here at Ellis or any other video, y'all drop a comment down below and leave that so I can answer those as we go. Hi, Mary. Hey, Renell. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Michelle. It's good to see everyone. Hope you guys have been up, um, had a great week and uh, a great weekend and had a great week so far. I'm excited because I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Dallas Market, so we're going to be selecting things for spring 2022. So if there's something in particular that you guys want to see or want to see us purchase for the stores, um, be sure to leave a comment so that we can take your feedback and apply it to all of our shopping that we do uh, during the week. And I'm going to go live, guys, on Designs by Dylan a few times if I can just to show the market experience and kind of what's new and what the trends are for the upcoming season. So I'm really excited for that. Um, so we've got a truck today. This is a super cute um, green truck. There's also one that is in a teal color, which would be perfect for any season as well. As you guys know, fall is approaching and teal is something that you can incorporate easily with fall. And I think dark green is too. But today, we're really going to focus on <clears throat> sunflowers. Because sunflowers, in my opinion, are such a great transitional flower that you can use for any season. And it's so easy to use these for a summer or late summer arrangement and then make, mix and match them into your fall stuff. So the sunflower bush is going to be our item of the week here at Ellis Home and Garden. Make sure you go to ellishomeandgarden.com and you can find all the products that we're going to use today. And so much more, including this truck, the styrofoam, and the moss that we use to attach it in here. Okay, so I've got me a truck here, and I put, just went ahead and put some green um, styrofoam in there. And I always mention, especially in my group, Dylan Stevens, guys, that if you want to make sure, I mean, if you want to have your styrofoam in something, and it's going to be visible at any, I mean, of any kind, you want to put some moss on top of that just to camouflage it, just to hide it a little bit and make it a little bit prettier, you know, before you put everything else on there. So I put my uh, foam in here, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of... Uh, some Spanish moss and cover the top of the truck so that we can fill that in really nicely. But honey, let's say hi to some people. Y'all, I also want to apologize if Dina's watching because I told Dina wrong last week because I was confused. I was supposed to, I thought I was supposed to leave Tuesday for market, but I'm not leaving till tomorrow. So Dina's not here today. Honey, we are flying so low, but I do miss Dina. Um, I wish she was here as we could discuss The Bachelor last night because, girl, it was such a good episode. So we're going to talk about that and so much more. But let's say hi first. Hey, Imagine. Oh, girl, I like that name. How you doing, girl? Hey, Miss, uh, hey, Christine, Maria, Karen's watching. Hi, happy, happy Tuesday to you, too. Sandra, Kelly, Joanne, Patricia from Tennessee. Patricia, I was wondering, how's the weather in Gatlinburg, Tennessee this time of year? We always go in the spring, and it's wonderful, but does it get as hot in the summer as it does here in Texas, or is it kind of, you know, good? Hey, Tamara. Well, I'm glad you're here, gorgeous. Hey, Teresa. Um... Trisha would love to see a beach themed tree. So actually funny enough, a couple years ago when I was still at Ellis here full time, they did a beach theme and it was really popular because beach is like something like rustic. You know, you can dress it up, dress it down. So it was really fun to do. Hey, Regina. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Maria, Pat, Heidi. Heidi, it's so good to see you. Hey, Chester and Dana. Um, and y'all, yesterday I had so much fun. You can go back and watch the replay at Designs by Dylan. But Miss Regina Sellers with Probo the Hand, as you guys know, we've done videos here at Ellis with her before. And she came in town. We did a fabulous event this Saturday, and then she stayed a few nights. And me and her and Josh been hanging out together, eating, eating, eating. And uh, we did a couple lives yesterday, uh, one in my group and then one on my business page. And she'll be at market all week, too. So it'll be good to kind of catch up with her and, and catch up with all of our friends in the wreathing community and pick out some great stuff for you guys for 2022 for spring and summer. Okay, girl, that's enough talking. Let's get this uh, moss in here. Y'all have your coffee, mimosa, Bloody Mary, Dr. Pepper. I'm ready to go. Hey, Rosemary. Okay, so we're going to do a little zooming action. And I'm going to just cover, again, cover the top of this truck with the moss. Girl, doesn't that look good in there? Fills out perfectly. Hey, Karen. Hey, Patricia. 64 degrees with morning rain showers. I'm about to throw up. That is so good. I'm so jealous. Hey, Wayne. How are you? By the way, y'all, if it's your first time watching one of our videos here at Ellis, my name's Dylan with Designs by Dylan. Y'all, make sure you leave a comment. Let us know it's your first time so we can welcome you here to our family at Ellis. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of the 
uh, Spanish moss in the truck, camouflage that foam a little bit so it doesn't look so tacky. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Sid. Hey, Marilyn. Good morning to you. So now that we have the moss covered, or the foam covered, we're going to start with our main flower today, which is going to be this fabulous sunflower bush. Now, don't forget, this is the item of the week at ellishumminggarden.com. We picked it and selected this as item of the week so that you could, you know, grab something that, like I said, would be a great uh, transition piece for you for uh, as you get prepared for fall. Okay, so I'm going to cut this bush apart, and then we're going to attach it in here. Hey, Anita. Oh, honey, 66 in Indiana. That sounds amazing. Hey, Karen Bush. It was good to see you this weekend. Hey, Claudia. Hey, Mergy. Okay. I think I got them all. I don't know how many I'm going to use. Let's just start with one bush, and then we'll, we'll kind of go from there. Okay. But first, I need to know if you watched The Bachelor last night, or The Bachelorette. Girl, my soul had left my body. It was so freaking good. Here's my thought, if you care. Okay. And I know it may be two of you watched, but for those of you who did, I'm going to tell you. The man who lost his wife to cancer and was married for 16 years and has the son broke my heart. I was sitting there like, oh, girl, I want to date you. You know, it was he was so sweet and so nice, and he's just got such a great outlook on things because he's been through such a traumatic time in his life. And he said the best thing, which was he's so lucky because he's got the opportunity to fall in love twice in his lifetime versus once, you know. So that's the way he looked at things, and it was just so nice and so pretty. And some of those guys, though, are there for the wrong reasons, and they have got to go. I'm glad she sent that one fool home, but the other one um, that said he was there just because he wanted to be on TV and for the platform, girl, bye. That's not why you're on the show. That's why I'd be on the show. But, you know, that's not why he is. So he needs to go. But if you watch, leave your comments and thoughts because that was my favorite guy she's ever went on a date with so far. And the season just started, but it's going to be hard to beat that. Kelly, what did you think? I mean, I'm telling you, I loved it. Okay, y'all, we're going to start putting in the uh, sunflower stems. Now, remember, y'all, your truck is small, okay? So you don't want to have some massive, huge arrangement in the back. You want to keep it proportioned and in scale with what your uh, base is, which in this case, it's the truck. So I'm just uh, cutting my stems apart. These sunflower stems are great. They're easy to cut apart. How pretty. And I'm just mixing these in. And the great thing about this bush, too, is it's got different size sunflowers, so you're not stuck with the whole, you know, with one size, which I really like. Hey, Jeanette. Hey, Connie. Laurel, Terry, Karen. How are you? Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you all so you can see better. And I'm just going to keep piecing in the sunflowers. Debbie, I don't watch Big Brother. You know, I watched one season. There used to be um, a lady that worked here at Ellis with me, Nancy. Shout out to Nancy. And honey, she loved Big Brother. And so I watched it one season. But girl, that was like the housewives. Um, but do I need to? I mean, I hear it's really good. Hey, Margaret, the truck came from here, ellishumminggarden.com. You can get one on there, and they also have it in a teal color, too, for you. So if you just popped on, y'all, we are taking a green truck, and we're incorporating some fabulous sunflower bushes into it. And then once we get this in there, of course, we'll use a little bit of greenery and things like that to help fill in our truck, okay? And this, you know, you want to do this on both sides so that it's symmetric. Um, and you can use it as a centerpiece or an accent piece. Hey, Linda Johnson. Hey, Linda Lee. Marsha, me too. I really love it. Oh, Kelly says so she loves the tr the uh, Big Brother too. I've got to watch that. Sandy, wasn't she great? I love her. She keeps me rolling laughing the whole time that we're together. Every time. Okay, so I did the front, y'all, so I'm just going to put a few stems in the back, and this is going to kind of set your outline or your shape and get it ready for you. And then once we get these in, we'll be ready to add our greenery, maybe a little bit of ribbon. I think some black and white ribbon. Look at this, y'all. I think that'll look really good up next to that green and the yellow. So that'll be perfect. Hey, Sue Adams. Good to see you. Hey, Connie. Hey, Marianne from Maryland. Okay. I'm going to put one more stem right in here on this side. 
And y'all remember, if you want to, you know, buy a truck and you want to change it out seasonally, then just don't glue your foam in there. You can use some uh, mold, not molding, what's it called? Clay, like sticky tack. And that'll be easy to put in there as well. Okay, so I have uh, my sunflowers in there. And those are ready to go. So now I'm going to take some greenery. And I'm going to use this right here. This is that fern bush I love to use. You could also use some fall leaves if you really wanted to put some fall with this as well. Hey, Christine from Indiana and Nancy, good to see you. Okay. Okay, so I want to take a poll real quick, okay? Because I'm getting ready to go to market starting tomorrow through Friday. And we're purchasing for spring 2022. So next spring and summer. That's how market works in June. You purchase for the following spring and summer. In January, you do Christmas and fall. So about a six month, you know, uh, six months ahead of time. So if there's something that you guys want to see us purchase or you want to see in the stores or here on the website next year for spring, please leave your feedback because we're going to take that feedback and I'm going to take it as well with Designs by Dylan and we're going to apply it to what we purchase. And we love to get your feedback and thoughts on what you love, what you want to see, what we're missing. I mean, we take it all, girl. Take it all. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Tish. Hey, Teresa. So, did everybody have a good weekend? Mine was jam-packed. We had an event on Saturday in Vivian, Louisiana, which was so fun. Thanks for everybody who came. I know Karen was there. It's good to see her always. Um, Terry Lynn Marshall with Mill and Dill Designs. Regina was there with Pro by the Hand. Thank you to Sandy and Ashley for having us. It, um, we just had an amazing time. And then we went out afterwards, had a great dinner. And then on Sunday was Father's Day. So, happy Father's Day to... All the fathers that might be watching, how you doing, sir? Uh, we went to Palestine, which is where Josh's family lives, and we had a wonderful dinner and celebration with his dad for Father's Day. And then we came home, and then yesterday, I got up. I had to do a couple things um, to get ready uh, for me to be gone this week. And today, I will be finishing shipping orders, getting those out for uh, the week before I leave. And then when I get back this weekend, I've got lots of exciting things happening. So y'all be sure to follow me on Facebook at Designs by Dylan and watch my Facebook stories because I'll give updates on there. I'm going to go live on there and uh, take you guys along on that journey with me. So make sure y'all check that out. By the way, is this camera not freaking amazing? I mean, the sound's great. The, the picture, the quality's great. I mean, it's hard to believe that we went so long, myself included on my business page, without this camera. I mean, it's like magic. My favorite thing to do in my group, and they'll tell you, is the zoom function. I just zoom all the time, honey. Zoom, 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 just because I love it. Okay, y'all, so I'm putting in greenery. This is just a Boston fern bush, as you know, and you could use any type of greenery that you have on hand, and I'm sure there's a variety to pick from on the website, ellishomeandgarden.com. Maidenhair fern would be great. Magnolia leaves would be great. Leather leaf, you could put around the base of this because of the size of the leaves, but girl, I love the airiness of all of this Boston fern, so that's what I'm using right now. Tish, honey, let me send me your email so I can send you a $1,000 gift card. Just kidding. But thank you so much. It's going to look skinny. It must be because this is blocking my stomach, you know. Y'all, all we've done all freaking week is eat, you know. And we're going to market, and all you do at market is eat. So after on Friday, I'm going to have to sit back, relax, get a slim slow, and pray. Because I got on my scale yesterday, and it said low battery. And that means I'm too freaking heavy to be on the scale. So, you know, i got a little work to do. Cabo's coming up. But, you know, we're just going to have to let go. And the God, you know, and let the, you know, Spanx work. Oh, Ruth, well, that's exciting. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Make sure you share a photo with us. We'd love to see. Hi, Linda. What's up, girl? Hey, Trish. Hey, Penny. Let's see. Sharon, they're going really good. Oh, my gosh, y'all. So let me tell you a story speaking of that. So, you know, I've got a, um, some exciting things happening this fall. And I have a new building that I'm getting ready to open. And, uh, you know, I've got, I'm doing a little build out right now. So my grandpa is a fabulous carpenter. He's up there helping me build. So previously in the building was, um, that it was a tea place. So they had a lot of sinks and water and everything like that. So on one wall in the back, which I'm having, uh, recovered. So it doesn't look like, you know, a kitchen. Um, there is all these water valves sticking out of the wall, like hot water, cold water, you know, because of all the sinks and they removed the sinks. So I'm just going to cap off the water and I'm going to, um, cover the wall up. So, y'all know my mother. It's always never a dull moment with my mom. So, 
I called my mom up there one day and I was like, hey, I want you to come see the new building I got, check it all out. So we're walking around and, you know, I have to tell my mom don't touch things because she's like a bull in a china shop. She could be. And I'm that way, you know, too. That's probably where I get it from. So we're walking back to the back of my building and I, and I'm showing her at the back and I was kind of explaining like, look, this is, this used to be kitchen back here, like sinks and stuff to prepare the tea. And I said, so all these water valves are here, but what I want to do is recover the wall. I want to clip off the water valves if I can, or I just want to disguise them because I don't really need those. And I said, now, you know, those have water going to them. There were water valves. I don't know how many times I said water valves. And so we get over to the wall and uh, she's sitting there looking at me and she goes, oh, okay, I wonder if this valve works. And she turns the valve on. Honey, sprays her in the face. I mean, she got a fresh little baptism right there in the back of my building. And I was like, I just stared at her like, Mother, I just told you that there's water in there. So then her whole face is so water was everywhere. And I was like, oh, my God. So this is exactly why I'm getting my grandpa to build a wall so people can go back there. Because I don't want to have a face wash station, honey. This is not the Mac counter at Dillard's. It is designed by Dillard. So anyway, yes, that's what happened that, the other day when I took my mom up there. So she got a little hair rinse, a hair wash for free. I should have charged her for that. Um... But anyway, it's never, never, never a dull moment. But yes, um, whoever said something about it, yes, uh, when I get back from market, I'm going to share some more stuff with y'all. Hey, Mark, how are you? Um, I don't know, everybody else has sound, girl, so you need to exit out of your video. Come back in, and that should fix the problem. Hey, Linda. Hey, Emily. Hey, James. How are you? Linda Lee Moore. It's good to see you. Linda Lee. I went to prom one time with a girl named Linda Lee. She was freaking fabulous. And uh, she just graduated law school, actually, and became a lawyer. So, Linda Lee, if you're watching, congratulations. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a different fern. This one's a little bit fuller and thicker, like me. And so we're going to uh, cut this apart and put it in here as well. Brenda, welcome. I love a good uh, first-time watcher. What's going on in Alabama? Anything good? I bet the weather's hot there, kind of like here. Yeah, Allison, I just told her. I told her and told her, and then she still found a way to go in there and mess with something. I think so, too, Tish. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Okay. Norma, I'm excited, too. It's one of my favorite things to do is go to market. And, you know, even if you go for yourself, guys, you have to have some um, certain things. You have to fill out an application, and you have to do a certain things, but... It's great to go for inspiration because I get inspired by, you know, talking to you guys, hearing what you want to do. Like someone said, a, I think a tractor or a wagon wheel, um, you know, and I, in my group, Dylan's Divas, I get them to post on Mondays what they've been working on. So I love to go through and scan and see what they've been working on because then that gives me ideas on what I could do for projects or what I could do for my own business, you know, because everybody's creativity is different and it's always interesting and fun to see what everybody does. Emily, how are, oh my God, everybody said I'm looking, Slim, let me pass that, hold on. Okay, y'all, I just fell out. Thank you, but I promise you I haven't lost any weight. I've got the COVID-85, and uh, she is still stuck like glue. Oh, Brenda, that sounds amazing. In the 70s, I can't even, I don't even know what that feels like because it's been so long. But y'all know our winter lasted forever. And what I mean forever, forever. And so, um, you know, summer's here. It's going to be hotter than ever. So what can we do? We can't do anything about it. Hey, Patty. Oh, that's a good idea, Sandy, because see there, I wouldn't have done that. And I came in there one morning and had a hot mess to choose from. Hey, Pam. Well, I'm not sure. You might need to, if you're watching on your phone, try restarting it. If your computer, same thing. Sometimes that works. Pam, how is the beach? Guys, my friend Pam Spur is watching. She's got her a new little body. She is cute as ever. And she's at Orange Beach, I think, for the week with her family. And I'm going to Cabo, as you guys know, July 7th through the 11th. Can't wait. Counting down. I'm going to look like a Q-tip out there because I'm so white. I had not tanned. I haven't been to the pool. Nothing. But, oh well. You know, oh well. You know, the revelation that I have, or the epiphany that I have when I go to the beach is I feel like you always look better than someone else there. You know, so like when you have insecurities or when you don't feel great about something and you go to the beach and you're thinking, oh, I don't really look good. I'm not tanned. I didn't lose any weight. Then you look around and you're like, I look pretty dang good, you know, because you see these old guys and stuff in those long bikinis and I'm like, <laughs> no. So anyway, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Emily, 
You ain't telling me. All I've done is eat. Um, so, let's take another poll. Y'all leave a comment. Let us know if you are going on vacation this summer and let us know where. Because we're all jealous. We're all wanting to know. Interested. Um, but we're going to Cabo and that's, that's exciting. Ooh, Rita. Right after me, girl. What are we doing, y'all? Okay. Let me just hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. So we've got our little tractor, honey. She is trucking along. And what I've done is I've just put some sunflower bushes, which the sunflowers are the item of the week. Don't forget the truck is on the website, ellisonmygarden.com. It's also in a teal color. And then, honey, I have just went through and put some Boston fern, and then I took another type of fern, which is similar but not the same, and mixed that in there too. Okay? Now let me look over here, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Where is my... Picks. Do I have any back here? Okay. So I'm going to take... Let me find my scissors. Oh, Lord. Okay. So let's push that somewhere else out of the way. And I'm going to use some of this black and white ribbon as a filler. This is a, a technique that I want to show you guys today. Okay. This is a one and a half inch... Fabulous ribbon. It's got a great hem on it, so it's really thick and uh, sturdy and easy to work with. And I think this would be super pretty up next to the, the yellow and stuff, okay? So let's use a couple of this. And we're just going to grab some wire, and that's how I'm going to tie this on, because I didn't bring any hooks back here. Hey, Glenda Wood. What's up, girl? Hi, Mary. Well, Mary, I bet you look fabulous still. Don't you worry. Oh, that's good, Emily. That's not too far from you. Nothing worse than a bad car ride. Do you guys get car sick, by the way? <clears throat> y'all just let me know. Okay, this is so random, but... Okay, y'all. So I'm putting in a little bit of this ribbon. I think I'm going to put a loop... I mean, I'm, I'm going to put a bow on each side, okay? So I'm going to do a three-loop bow with one-and-a-half-inch ribbon. I would probably stick to one-and-a-half on this truck because it's smaller. So like I said, you don't want to get too big. You could do this on your Provo. I'd probably go down to row B or C. You just had to play with it to see what you got to do to get the like size pieces in here. And we're going to put one on each side. Hi, Billy. Hey, Jeanette. Hey, Brenda. Y'all, that was probably dangerous. You've got to do this. Okay, I'm going to give you a recommendation, and it's not a movie. You've got to get on, if you have Apple Music, like from iTunes or Spotify or whatever you use, YouTube, you can get on there. Look up. There is a husband and wife, and their names are Caleb and Kelsey, and that's what their band is called, Caleb and Kelsey. I found them recently, and that's all I have been listening to. First of all, I love all kinds of music. I mean, I like to drop it like it's hot. I like to shout to the Lord. I like to dip and do it. I mean, I like all kinds of music, but they have a huge selection of hymns, all the hymns that you know. Like, my favorite hymn is probably How Great Thou Are or It Is Well. And they do mashups of these hymns, and it's all with piano and them harmonizing, and it's just so pretty. Like, girl, I turned it on yesterday. It took me to church. I hit the ditch. Finally ended up in the driveway. Don't know how that happened. It was so good. And uh, they also do Disney, which, girl, I love Disney. They do cover songs, and they do mashups of different artists. So, like, say they say they want to do Faith Hill. Like, they did This Kiss. That's, you know, the way it is, or whatever that song's called, Breathe. And they mix them all together and match them, and it's so good. So if you guys haven't seen them already, very clean music. Your kids would like it. Your family would like it. Turn it up in your car, though, because the harmonies that they do are incredible, and I love it. I like any kind of music. If I could have one talent, if, you know, in this life, if you could choose one thing that you're great at, I would be choose to be a singer because I love singing, and I can't. I mean, I tried singing one day. My dog dropped dead, so, you know, i got to be careful. But they're really good, y'all. See, I don't really get car sick, but I just prefer that I don't sit in the back, so that's what I tell everybody. They're like... You know, could you get in the back? Can't. Car sick. You know, <laughs> that's, that's what I tell them. Okay, so we're getting ready to do our second bow. Three loops. This is one and a half inch ribbon. And we're going to put that in. Uh, yes, Debbie, they're very, very good. Hi, Allison. Hey, Terry. So have you guys started decorating for fall? Not at your house. I mean, that would only be me. I haven't done it yet. But when Regina came yesterday, I'm just going to tell you, I'll be honest, I was a little embarrassed because, you know, I've had a lot going on, girl, in a good way. You know, and I hadn't had time to do anything. 
And so I still have my Easter stuff up inside. And I don't have like Easter signs to say Happy Easter, but I still have some bunnies on my coffee table. I still have an Easter village up. I mean, girls, a lot going on. And then when just when I thought that was bad enough, she got ready to leave. I looked outside. My Christmas doormat was still on the ground. So things have been better at um, Dylan's house. But I'll probably put a little bit of fall up in the end of July. Oh my God, Sherry, send us a freaking uh, video. I want to see. Send it to me. Designs by Dylan at Yahoo.com. Dylan is D-Y-L-E-N. Um, I love any type of singers. I'm obsessed. There was a guy I worked here one time at Ellis. He sang Girl, Please. I was walking around the whole store like Mariah Carey. <laughs> Listen to him sing the whole time. Kelly, have you watched Dirty John? Yes. I've seen the first season with Connie Britton. That was my favorite. I don't really care for the second season. Okay, y'all. I'm going to take my bow. And girl, we're going to slide her in, okay? I'm going to put one on each side. This is such an airy and pretty arrangement. Wait till you see this black and white in there. Because it is stunning. Now I'm just using the wire to attach it. Okay. I'm putting a bow on each side. Look how pretty that is. It's just so simple. We'll put one on each side. Hi, Suzette. Hey, Kathy and Teresa. Okay. I'm going to come over to this side now. Put another one. Y'all, I always mention, ribbon is such an inexpensive way to fill in your arrangements, your wreaths, whatever it is that you want to do. So, I use ribbon a lot, you know, especially if you're working on, like, custom orders and you're on a budget, you know, your customer has a budget, which is fine, and you need to make them something pretty but not go over their budget, this is the way to do it. Look at that, y'all. So I have my truck with my ribbon in there. So pretty and cute. I kind of put it to where it's off center. Pretty there. Vroom, vroom. She's ready to go, girl. And you know what else I might do? I might put a tiny bit right there in the front. So let me just do a small other bow. I know Janice Ellis does too. Ellis has got a good selection of fallout in here. And they've also got a little bit of Christmas that they're getting in. Oh, y'all, Rebecca's watching. Look at her hunting on it. She just posted the green truck. This is a must-have because it's so cute. It's in a green, so if you know you're sick of red, then the green's great. And you can put it with any season as well. I would love to see this for Christmas, too, or fall. With, like, fall leaves and pumpkins coming out of the back. It would be so cute. Okay. Oh, look at there, honey. She just posted the sunflower. You better get a girl. Okay. I'm going to put this last little bit of ribbon in here, and I'm just using wire, like I said, to attach it. You could use a greening pen, Dixon pen, um, anything. But I've gotten to wear, what do you all prefer, wire or pipe cleaners? I've gotten to wear, I prefer uh, wire. To me, it just works better. Plus, those pipe cleaners break, and it's just a disaster. <gasps> Look at that. Girl, that'll make you slap your mama. That is so cute. It, got, it gave us the perfect little touch that we needed with the ribbon. Oh, I love it. Here's what the top looks like. You have the aerial view. Don't we love this new system? And uh, you've got ribbon on both sides. So it'd be great for a centerpiece, guys, or for an accent piece. And what an accent piece is, is you can literally put it on your entry table or something like that and should be good to go. All right, y'all. Well, I had a great time today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. Um, guys, don't forget, we'll be at market this week. Make sure you send us your feedback, what you want to see for spring 2022. 2022. That's right. I thought I had a little stutter. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have so much fun. Guys, don't forget, I have a monthly design group, Dylan's Divas. Um, it's 20 bucks a month. You can learn more about floral design. We go really in depth with instruction and detail and all that stuff. Um, if you're interested, go to dylanpalmerdesigns.com. It's D Y L A N. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Designs by Dylan. And don't forget, guys, ellishomeandgarden.com. Everything you see here can be found on there. The sunflower bush was item of the week. The green trucks are on there. I think there's also a teal option. So you've got two colors you can choose from. Um, and they've got lots of great fall on there, fall ribbon, Christmas ribbon already I've seen. And they're all different discounts, but they are discounted. So that's always a plus when we're getting ready to shop. All right, guys. Love you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. I will be gone next Tuesday, okay? Next Tuesday. I got my schedule wrong this week. I'll be gone next Tuesday. We'll do a replay for you, but then I'll be back the next week. So, thank you for watching. I love you so much. And, honey, I will see y'all next time at Ellis Home and Garden. Bye, y'all.